do an Englishman foodie. I'm Englishman in water, by the way, and it's blowing a hoolie today. I go around this lovely island. Anyway, there's links below if you're interested in helping the channel, if you want to go and see Englishman travel, Englishman foodie, Englishman jokes, and Englishman in water. Today, we're going to do a quick, fast meal. Normally, I'm going to judge this because I've been thinking to myself, I did something, I watched, uh, I watched quite a few foodies in the UK and I see them buying these things and I was thinking, is it cheaper to do it yourself? Is it faster? Is it cheaper? And is it easier to do things yourself than buy packets and things like that? But I was in the supermarket and I noticed this chicken chasseur. Now, I've done it quite a few times by myself, but I've used uh, French herbs, I've used wine, um, I forgot now, I've put different things in it, but I thought I'll have a go at doing with a packet. Now, we're a bit ripped off here in Malta, if you're listening, the agent of sports. From UK, without a special offer, it's, this is 140. Here it's 2 euros and 60. So more than double the price. Now it's very, very easy. Um, all you do is add onions, add chicken, uh, says chicken breast, but I'm using thighs. I'll, I'll, we'll go through the different things in a minute. Um, mushrooms, and I put a bit of veggie in because it says on the side. What I do, why I do that, guys, I do a casserole. I'll, I'll go through step by step what I do this chicken tasseur. I did it myself with chicken legs, chicken breast, and I found thighs really, really tasty. Now, would you manage to get all those herbs together? What they use for chicken chasseur? I just bung in uh, a herbs de Provence or uh, Italian herbs. They got like a mixture. Buy that really cheap, big con container like this, Italian herbs. I think it's not even three, three euros or something like that. It lasts for a long time. Um, it tastes the same in the end, doesn't it? Let's go through the steps here. First of all, step one, preheat the oven. Right then, Steve, let me just check. Have you got that oven on? Is it warmed up? Well done. For the rest of you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tick that little bell for notifications of when Steve uploads new videos, because you wouldn't want to miss anything, would you? Talking about missing anything. Uh, yeah, is it switched on? Well done, Steve. And for the fact of... It could be worse. You could be married to me. Well, you should be so lucky. Bye. Where well, would I be without you? Preheat the oven, 180. Step by step, this is <laughs> cooking for dumbos. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> I'm number one. Step two. Oh, the onion. So we're going to get the thing going. Hang on. Sports, wherever you're from, it's in your, it doesn't stay. Step two, get a glass of wine. And just so happens, I've got my favorite. I don't buy this very often because it's, it's not like cheap plonk. I love this. And those, first of all, hang on, hang about. Steve, you're in Malta. Why aren't you buying Maltese wine? It's better than everywhere else. You should be buying this. I like bloody Chianti, so that's what I'm gonna buy. Cheers, everybody. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're enjoying Englishman foodie. Any suggestions in the comments? If you've got any bad things to say, don't put it in the comments, because you'll get blocked. Anyway. Let's get this going. It doesn't say step two, get the pan going, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go through the things. Oh, okay. Let's go through first. It doesn't say that because this is the idiot's guide to cooking chicken chasseur, but I'm going to break away from that. I'm going to, first of all, we need a chopping board, a knife, it says a small onion, but I love onions, so I made a big one. A carrot. And of course, you need the packet. 300 mils of water. Some mushrooms. Optional. 
tomato paste, or we call it conserva here. Optional for me, vegetables, because what I'll do is I bung everything in the casserole, so I don't have to do separate things, but I'm going to do some mash. But I don't know if I'm going to do it for this review. I might do it after. I might do the casserole one hour in the preheated oven. Thank you, Anne. And she's going to do me another clip. She's looking gorgeous. She's, she's changed. Anybody want another clip for Anne? Tell me in the comments. She's a lovely lady. She's from Cornwall. Mixed veg. I bung it in the casserole because I can't be asked to do it separately. But I do some mash. Mash is nice with all the gravy. And I'm doing thighs. What do you think, guys? What would you use? What's your favourite? Tell me in the comments. Legs, breast, or thighs. <laughs> no bloke. No, I don't want any rude comments, blokes. I want it, I want it clean. I want English man, but I want it clean. Anyway, this is uh, heating up. I already, I couldn't wait around for you. I peeled my carrot. Oh, and I've got a casserole as well. And a bottle of plunk. That's it, guys. So simple, so easy. I think we're gonna, while it's in my hand, I'll chop that up. Oh, that's, I'll get rid of the heads and the tails first. I'm gonna do it on the bias. Steve, you're a professional chef. Does it show? <laughs> and I sharpened my knife. <laughs> you know what I came across? I was gonna bung them all out because I, I bought this from some Aitai that came into the business once. And he said, it's a, it's a 10 year guarantee and the paint will never go off. <laughs> Within no time, it was blunt, but I, I bought one of these to, uh, it's, it's all right, let's give it a new life because it's the, Royal line. Anyway, that's the carrot done. I'm going to do an onion. How do you do your onions, guys? This is the way. <laughs> now the knives are... Now the knives are sharp. <laughs> He's going to cut his blooming finger. <laughs> hey, you got to have a laugh, guys. Somebody said to me, you're not serious enough. Look at, look at the state of our onions. This whatever they put on it. It's like somebody told me, I don't sure if it was John Abela, who is our chief commentator. Look, he said to me, it's mold. I'm gonna take that first off completely because it, I don't like the look of it because I was gonna wash it. There we are. Let's take off the first skin. He said to me, because I said, what the hell is it like? Is it like a, a thing that they clean, you know, like, uh, I thought it was some kind of dust they put into for the, I don't know, like to help it grow. He said, no, it's mold. It's mold. This is how I, I do my onion. I don't know how you guys do it. I slice it that way. I put a lot, couple of slices here, look. Cause it does say chopped onion, but sometimes I do it Chinese way like that. Look how it comes. It eats better than I, guys. It did a good job. It says a small onion, but I love onions, so if you like me. You cut it that way, look, on the bias. Look how nice it comes. Beautiful chopped onion. I might have got one of those gadgets. Are you like me guys? That's what I was thinking about. I've got the, I've got the, uh, what do you call it? Air fryer. I thought, is it going to be one of, another one of those gadgets that you buy Steve and you stick it in the corner and you never see it again? Because I've got one of those guillotines. Mind you look. <laughs> I was watching uh, on television how to do how to use the guillotine. Be very careful. Be careful of your finger as you slice it. Ah, oh, ah! A big chunk of skin came off. Anyway, onions. Oh, we got the sizzle. Let me get something to give it a 
So I'm gonna sweat my onion down a bit. May as well bung the carrot in at the same time, eh? It's not gonna hurt anything. Would you do that? Steve, don't do that. Professional chefs, don't do that. <laughs> so, let's move on to step two. It says do the onions. In the packet, we're gonna bung, we're gonna bung, because step two, it says to brown the chicken. Are you going? Oh, you're going. But I'm gonna give the onions a bit of time first before I put the chicken in. And what I'm gonna try and do, because I got told off once, I'm not gonna touch the chicken because you're gonna spread the bacteria around, it says. But we've already got bacteria from the... from the mold of the onions. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I, tell me if this is, I've got a whole pile of rubbish here. And the dishes will be waiting for you later, if you're interested. I try and put everything in together, if I can get away with it. Like what I'm gonna do now, it says, as a, as a special bonus, put a bit of tomato puree in. Tomato paste, conserva here it's called. I'm gonna put two in. And what I do, so I don't forget, let me just give it a good mix up. Because my tomato paste. And then I'm gonna just bung this in, the mushrooms. So I can forget about that then. So that's ready, that mixture. That's ready. So we mixture, mushrooms, bit of conserva, or tomato paste is there. My mixed veg, I do it, but you can do it separate if you want. So you could do the traditional, what it says, potatoes, mixed veg, or some roasted potatoes, it suggested that would be quite good, eh? Something like that. Chicken breast, it says, but I've done chicken chasseur. I don't know if it's, how it's supposed to be, because it's a French dish. Oh la la. I'm sweating my onion down, guys. Come and have a quick look. Easy peasy. I, I want to know, if you haven't commented before, but it really helps the channel if you comment and you tell me what your suggestions are. I won't take offence if you don't use any of those bad words, but tell me, Steve, no, I don't do it like that. I do it like this. I know many of you don't comment, but comments, likes, subscribing really helps the channel. And guys, you won't believe this. YouTube is, what did they, what's the word that says, you have gone to another place in the YouTube, down in the YouTube archives, and you've been considered for monetization. You have reached your criteria. <laughs> Don't hold your breath, guys. If you see me driving around in a Merc, you know I've made it. Anyway, here's the chicken breast. I'm gonna brow, I left them outside a bit. You know what, I try and leave them in the room temperature a bit. So, because uh, everything, I, I've got everything frozen, me. I don't buy anything fresh. Because, you know, like if I just feel like, say today I want to do chicken breasts, I want to do chicken thighs, I want to, I take it out in the morning. And I've noticed, you know, like I'm, tr I'm trying to desperately eat, if I can, if I'm not out and about with the camera. And I've lost a kilo, eating lunchtime and cutting the portions down a bit, because this I'm gonna freeze it, half of it. I'm gonna make the, what, that's what I do sometimes. I make a meal, then freeze it, half of it. And then say, for example, I don't know, a couple of weeks down the line, and I think, oh, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I feel like a chicken casseur, a chasseur. <laughs> it's take it out, defrost it, and put it, I can put it in the air fryer now. So that's it, guys. Onions are, 
sweating down a bit. Oven is on. Thank you, Anne. She's coming over soon, Anne. And La is coming over as well. Now, I, I was a bit disappointed. I know you probably saw it in my face because I do English Man and I do a weather report every day. And Albion was playing Leicester. Now, the ball just wouldn't go in. We were robbed, guys. We were robbed. And Leicester is the top of the league. Albion are fighters. I want them to go up to the championship because I want to meet Lara over in Liverpool. We want to kick Liverpool's ass. That's going to put the cat amongst the pigeons. So the onions are okay, guys. They're sweating. I'm going to put the chicken breast in now. I'm going to brown the chicken breast a little bit. Move your wine, Steve. We can't see a blooming thing. So, sorry, the uh, thighs, the chicken thighs. I'm, I've got breasts on. I've got breasts on my brain. Chicken thighs, they're a bit weedy this one, it's browning nicely already. I've got it on the low fly, so I'm going to transfer it over there to the, to the other one. I did it like this so you could see, let's put it over the other one, I've got more power over there, I've got a double, I can give it a double whammy, I can get it brown quickly. So here's the, here's the casserole, veg are ready, mixture's ready. I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna put a bit, oh, I can put it in here, Steve. Put it in here like this. I'm not gonna waste too much. Cheers, everybody. Blooming lovely, that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip you for a minute, guys. Breasts are browning, onions brown with a carrot, vegetables are ready, the mixture's ready, with sports, uh, chicken chasseur, mushrooms, bit of wine, and some tomato puree in there as well. Back in a second, guys. Get everything brown, and then we just bung it in the casserole, and the oven is waiting there to greet us. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I hope you're enjoying it. I want to thank my Patreons and the contributions from PayPal. If you want to help the channel, the link is below. If you want to go over and see my other channels, travel channel and foodie channel, all the links are for Instagram and Facebook. Everything's browning nicely and everything's ready. Quick, simple, and easy. That's how I like things, guys. I don't know why many people want to complicate things. I think we're almost ready. I just browned everything. You, you saw a little bit, eh? I've got my onions ready. I've got the, it's gonna be in there for an hour anyway, but you know like browning, caramelizing, Gives it a load of taste. I like that sort of brown taste on it. 
Not too much because you can you can overdo it. It's ready. Let's get one of these. You know the problem I've got. Hey guys, this worktop. I have to be so careful. I've had it for quite a few years and I've got away with it. Sometimes I forget I've got something hot in my hand and I I should have done marble because it's not that expensive here. There we are, we're ready. I'm going to put that in front of you. Hopefully you can see it. You can see the steam coming up. <laughs> so there's the, there's the chicken thighs. All nicely brown. Doesn't take long at all. Put it on a decent flame. <sighs> Smell is lovely. Onions are already, and all the juices of the onion, I'm going to bung in as well. Lovely sweet onions here in Malta. Just that, just that brown stuff, I don't know why sometimes you get that. Like that fungus or whatever. So the moral of the story, guys, is it... Is it cheaper to do your own? For a couple of couple of euros, and I only want something for you. Malta's getting we're getting ripped off, getting so expensive here in Malta. So vegetables, I do that, but you can do them separately. You don't have to do things, guys. It's not a law watching English man foodie. You don't have to do exactly what he says. Let's give that another stir up because it. I hate it when it sticks on the bottom. Like it congeals at the bottom. It's got a nice smell though. I like sport. I like sports. Uh, sports better than Coleman's. You're probably different to me. I don't know. There's everything in there. So we're ready. And you can go off and do something else now. You don't have to. What do you think about mixing the veg in there, guys? What, do you agree with it or you like it separately? Uh, I was even tempted one time, but it maybe it's maybe like those purists of the chicken chasseur. Oh, the French, the French wouldn't do this sort of thing. They wouldn't put vegetables in. Actually, I don't think they probably would do most of the things. Oh no, he's using thighs. Bon oui. There it is, guys. Thanks to Anne, the oven is preheated. So what? All we're left to do is bung it in the oven. Now you go off, guys. Uh, I don't know if you've got anything planned. So it's going to be about one hour, something like that. I'm going to sit here. Now is that half full or half empty? I only started this last night. I'm going to write to Chianti. I'm going to tell them, your blooming wine, it, it seems to empty so quickly. Cheers, guys. Back in one hour. But for you, probably it's just... Put your hands together and... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. I got some spuds ready. But what I'm going to do... How did I bring you? I bought the thing. I'm just going to give it a bit of a taste test. I'm not going to... Uh, I've got a small... I don't know whether... What do you think this is? Is it a bowl or a, or a plate? Anyway, here it is, guys. It's sizzling away nicely. Bubbling like crazy. Smells yummy. Slotted spoon. Let's see what we can grab out of here. Wow. Now that looks good, guys. Ooh. My favorite is broccoli. I love broccoli. I'm just going to give it a quick test. Everything smells great. There's the uh, thighs, chicken thighs. 
I thought you had a knife, Steve. Yeah, he did. The wine's finished. <laughs> chicken breast. Compared to chicken thighs. The flavour is really strong compared to the to the breast. Mm. I know what you're gonna say. Tell me in the comments. A lovely big dump of mashed potatoes there, but I might have it later. I was gonna just do this for you. Oh, the onions are lovely. They've got like a, such a sweet taste at this time of year. Mm, nice brush. Mushrooms. The way I do them, they can become a little bit, bit sloppy sort of, because, um, you know, I buy them fresh from the market, then freeze them. Then I use them little bits and pieces how I need them. Oh, they're nice, the carrots. I bought the carrots from Lidl last time. So they're probably Italian, they're not Maltese. And a bit of cauliflower. It's very, very hot. <coughs> very hot. The sauce is lovely. What? Sports has got a very, very intense flavour. I love their flavours. That bit of wine helped a bit as well. But tell me in the comments, what do you think? Buying a packet, in your case, it would be one pound, one pound fifty, I think. In my case, it's two euros something, two sixty. Or is it better to use a bit of cheap plunk, some herbs? How do you do your chicken? I mean, really, chicken chasse, it's, it's a French chicken casserole. You can do it lots of different ways, but I think the, the, the French would put a lot more wine in it than what I did. I didn't want to waste all that Chianti. Tell me how you do it, guys. Chicken casserole, really, eh? It's a, a French casserole. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Came out lovely. Would you pay the extra 260 or 150 from the UK or wherever you are in the world to make a sort of the herby and flavor? Probably the, the curry ones and things like that when they're a bit hard to find the herbs, but like a chicken casserole. I don't know, would half a bottle of wine and some herbs be just as cheap? Thanks guys. Don't forget, take a moment to subscribe. It's free. Like the video and I'd love to see your comments Please comment as much as you can, even if you're good and bad. And if you say, Steve, I don't like the way you blah, 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 or anything like that, it's all right. Just be kind, courteous, and none of those difficult words. Bye, guys. Chicken ch chasse from Sports. It was good. It's yummy, quick, easy, and you don't have to worry about all those herbs. You can do it with roast potatoes or mash or the vegetables on the side. Cheers guys.